to Mr. Joseph Somba. He lives in a very beautiful place. I have a video from yesterday. How are you, sir? I'm fine. This is Mr. Joseph. And for me, it was just to come here and pass my gratitude to you to say thank you very much. <laughs> so for how long have you been supplying milk? Uh, around 40 years. 40, 40 years, years of supplying yes. milk daily. Yeah. It is almost 24 years. I started with university. This, this one here is 24 years old, this one. But these other ones I replaced. Uh -huh. This one I planted. Yeah, yeah, you see now you are supposed to, 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 to. You came with a bag, you are supposed to go again back with another food. Is that an African another culture? Something, yeah. Hello everyone, it's your girl Irene underscore Jeb and guys welcome back to our channel. Here we do reaction videos and vlogs. So welcome to these vlogs and in today's vlogs it's a special day as we celebrate Mother's Day and spend time reflecting on the importance of family and community. I have decided to take you along on a meaningful journey as I start my day by attending church to give thanks and show gratitude for all the blessings in my life. Two weeks ago, Mr. Joseph underwent an operation and I am thrilled to share that he was discharged from the hospital just uh, yesterday. Join me as I capture the emotions and moments of reconnecting with Mr. Joseph, a beloved member of our community who has shown resilience and strength throughout his recovery. Imagine he spent five days in ICU. I'll document our visit, share his inspiring story and express our heartfelt well wishes for his continued healing and well-being. Through this vlog, I hope to shine a light on the power of support, kindness and the bonds we share with those who touch our lives in meaningful ways. Let's uh, spread love and positivity together on this special Mother's Day as we celebrate the spirit of giving back and cherishing the connections that make life truly beautiful. So this is the entrance to our church and today we came earlier that's why you can see kids are still roaming around so let me take this opportunity to show you the sunday school uh, sanctuary the actually the this old building under construction is the sunday school sanctuary where our kids are normally taught the word of god so it's us the church members who normally contribute to build this and this is exactly where my kids uh, go to and the rest of the kids of their ages so it's actually categorized into three according to ages now the smaller ones come here and then older than them they go to another class and then the teenagers are in another class also it's three classes the kids are waiting to enter into the sunday school sanctuary so some are still inside so what normally happens it's until they pray for them that's when they get out and go so here i meet one of the usher and she, she was asking me what does this camera do and i explained to them so i know her actually and yeah we had a little bit of uh, talking so i didn't want to film her because you know maybe she doesn't understand what uh, i am doing because she was asking me what's the purpose of this camera so this is church a church a we are normally few okay it's one church but it is categorized into uh, church a and church b so this is church a this is where i normally like and the reason as to why i like sitting in one uh, spot or one side is that my kids will be able to find me easily and i also like sitting in front so that when they come out of the sunday school earlier they just find me here so this is us going to sit down announcements were being um, done at this moment we came to a certain area in our town to take like something like late lunch and unfortunately i i called uh, the guy that normally is actually called mr joseph uh, he was asking him what can we bring to you in hospital he said that uh, it's already late 
and he's almost getting out of the hospital. Now he's going to home. So the best thing that I thought it twice that we can do is a sign of appreciation. Tomorrow on Sunday we are going to go to his home and at least even to get to know his family. He's a very senior person. Some of his children are even in Australia working and studying, but of course uh, they start to start studying. So um, we just came here to take some uh, lunch. We are done and now we just want to go back home tomorrow. We will be in uh, Mr. Joseph's home. Yeah, I am really happy that at last he has been discharged. He has been in hospital for two weeks now. Yeah, so the own floods are going to go to the hospital. And yeah, we are so happy because if he is healthy, now at least we know that we are going to continue um, getting milk from him. So guys, uh, we came to this supermarket here, it's called Naivas, but actually it has so many branches here in Kenya, around 90 something. It's one of the best right now, like when it comes to the marketplace, they are on top there. So today, we decided to come. On a... People are so many, because now schools are opening, it's on a weekend again. So uh, we just came to do some few shopping here. For me, I normally like it when I write it down so that at least I get to know what I spend. You know, when you come to the supermarket without any plan, oh, you'll find yourself uh, spending money unnecessarily. That's what I would say. So me, I have my list here. So this one is for the water. And then this other one, it's just a list of items that I want to get from this particular uh, supermarket uh, when i want a piece at an affordable rate yeah and what shows you that it's affordable here the number of people inside it's congested actually so uh, let me continue doing my shopping and then i'll talk to you maybe at some point because if i keep talking i'll pass some of the items and the way it's kind of uh, congested so i want to get a good paste here yeah, I am so addicted to this type, this type here, the brands here. I think it's because uh, they were the first, among the first to be introduced here in Kenya. So I think I'm done with, uh, oh, I forgot something. Let me go, I'll talk to you later. 11.32 a.m. on Sunday 12th. So, uh, good morning. I, I know a lot of you are like, Irene, why are you going to church at this time? So, in our church, we have three services. We have the first uh, service, Abarizen. We have the first service from 7 a.m. to 8, and then we go to the second service. And now us, uh, the third service, it takes only an hour, which is uh, from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. <laughs> have a family life program but unfortunately us we won't attend because of what you want to do so uh, we are going to catch a uh, not a boda boda but a matatu and then we go to the next shopping center which is junction and we then take another matatu to our destination <laughs> look at this girl she didn't give out a offering for real yeah that's nice that you gave out my girl didn't give out the offering i don't know why so according to african culture you cannot visit somebody like empty handed so i came to this particular supermarket here in a place called junction it's on the way to mr joseph's home so this is the shopping they are packing it and then we go and say hello to him and check him out how he's faring on but most importantly we are just happy that he is already out of hospital so uh, we are in our second stopover. This is uh, this place is called Moiben Junction, and for us we need to go like a little bit inside. So uh, 
Mr. Joseph normally comes from very far. For those who are wondering, who is this Mr. Joseph that Irene has been talking about since yesterday in her live stream? So my good people, Mr. Joseph is a senior person who has been delivering milk to so many people in this uh, community for the last 40 years. Not only people, but also to shops for the last 40 years. But personally, on my family side, he has been supplying milk for the last uh, three years. And someone like my daughter, she has never ever taken anyone's milk or even bought milk from the shop because of Mr. Joseph. She has literally been drinking uh, Mr. Joseph's uh, milk since uh, the day that she started winning up to today. Not really today, but up to two weeks ago when Mr. Joseph became ill, he had to go to the hospital and even he ended up in the ICU. And then he was discharged yesterday and we were like, oh my God, you know, we need to just go and uh, check out on him, at least at least for him to know that uh, even his customers care so much about him. We appreciate his determination, his resilience and everything, you know. And by good people, this is us on our way. So this is actually Moiben. Actually, you see even my place which I live, it's still under Moiben constituency, but the original name is now this place. It's called Moiben. So as you can see, the environment is beautiful and not so many people live here. So that's why you can see the farms are still so big. So that's not even the story that I wanted to tell you. I am glad that uh, through this visit, you are even going to know more about Mr. Joseph, get to know about his family, because, you know, him coming every day to give us milk, every day. Even when we were with, uh, when we, we traveled to the village last time, he used to bring it, but we had to reduce because it's only one person that was remaining behind. So... I don't know. I don't know uh, if it was you. Would you have done something like this? I know we are all different, all of us in the world. That is why out of all our, all of his customers, it's only us who decided uh, to go and check out on him, check out on his family as well. And I am glad. I am glad because I also learned so many things, which is in the video. Kindly check it out. So we arrived in Mr. Joseph's uh, home. Yeah. Okay, Asante, Asante. Asante, So this is the border border that we used. Oh, hello. Okay, and this is our shopping, Oi. so we are heading over. Madam. Hello. Hello. To Mr. Joseph Somwa. He lives in a very beautiful place. Wow. <laughs> We are happy to be here. Sasa. Ko salama. Online video. Video on YouTube. A jumbo. Like that, Nani? Into a battle. Okay, Hassanti. So, guys, uh, I am still in Mr. Joseph's uh, home, homestead. Actually, it's a very, very beautiful environment, and you know, I noticed uh, Mrs. Mrs. Joseph, here she is. I noticed she she doesn't have girls around. Like all of your children are older. And wow, you are a loved family because I'm seeing a lot of visitors coming around. And I was like, no, I just I just need to help her do the utensils. Because uh, she you call yourself Mama Boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She was telling me her story here. Yeah. So I'll just, since it's uh, Harley and for us we don't live like real far. We live in Sinai. Yeah, I don't mind assisting. You are called Mama who? Uh, Mama Kosge. Mama Kosge. Yeah. Wow. So uh, Baba Kosge has been supplying us uh, with milk for the last three years. Before, before this little girl was born. Oh. Kabla Zaliwe. 
<laughs> until now. So guys, let me continue washing the utensils and I'll talk to you later. So guys, uh, when we were starting, we had a lot of utensils here, but now you can see it's uh, remaining. Two of them, I've washed most of them here. So behind the camera, I have who? Catherine. Catherine who? Charles. Catherine Charles. Mm. So Catherine, we came to, uh, we, we met with her in Mr. Joseph's home. And maybe you can tell us uh, what did you come to do? Me personally, I came to check on uh, the family of Mr. Joseph and Mr. Joseph himself because uh, they have been supplying us with milk since uh, three years ago. And now we've not gotten milk for the last two weeks because he was not feeling well. And today we are here. And I'm glad that I also got to learn. Uh, I've known his family better. I have known them better. And I am happy that Mr. Joseph is also doing great. I'm Catherine. Uh -huh. This is my family. Uh -huh. Mr. Joseph is the brother to my father in law. Wow. I've come to for that spirit of hospitality. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a teacher. I teach at mm -hmm. Happy Valley. This is my family. Mm -hmm. And I'm proud of their kindness. Yeah. Mm. So you can imagine at last I didn't I didn't know anybody uh, that comes from Mr. Joseph's side, but I've already known you. So you see uh, the spirit of Africanism. At last we've gotten to make more friendships, mm. known uh, more people. By the way guys, I didn't even know that she's a teacher. Yeah, now you can speak if you're a teacher because we believe in you. Ah, um, very <laughs> Which school do you well. teach? Mm, the nearby school called SK Kapkorio Prime. SK. Oh, so you've been living here since which year? Because most of the time yeah. they deploy teachers to where they come from or where they uh, intend to live for long, something like that. No. I don't know how to explain that. Oh, yeah. My first first posting was uh, at the mm -hmm. other end of Maybeki, uh -huh. near Chaborua. Uh -huh. I went there for almost three years, and then I was transferred to another school. Mm -hmm. On the other end, it was far, almost uh, traveling. I was commuting about mm -hmm. one and a half kilometer every day. Uh -huh. Then I come nearer and mm -hmm. I'm only using 30 minutes. Wow. Yeah. So, so it, and you know. this place you've been living in this environment for how long? 30 years. Wow. Hey, 30 <laughs> years. Yeah. Wow. Me, currently I'm in that stage where I really want to be in a place, wow. in an environment like this. You see, when you live in a rented apartment, you have so many different people yeah. with the different uh, everything. Yeah. But when you are in a place like this, your yeah. own compound. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Okay, you live your own life. <laughs> You see, the way me, I'm free filming now. Yeah. It, where I live, it is very wow. difficult. Because if you just open the door like this, mm. there is somebody's child there, yeah. and then you might film it captures them, and it becomes a problem. Uh -huh. so, so you are planning to buy a piece hopefully, of land? Hopefully, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. We will just get there. Yeah. yeah. So this place is called uh, Moiben Constituency, and then uh, oh, this I think Moiben. we are in the same uh, constituency with you. Sina is also Moiben Constituency. Moiben Sergo is location. Location, Chairman, US Village. Wow. Did, they, did you hear that? And now you mentioned Sergoit. <laughs> the wonders of Sergoit Hills. Tell us about that <laughs> hill. Guys, that hill is just uh, some few, is it meters or even kilometers? One kilometer, kilometer away? Not one, almost uh -huh. five. <laughs> The wonders of Sergoit is kindly tell us about that because I heard, so now this is an assumption, I heard that uh, the, you people are not allowed to go there because it's someone's property. Yeah, but in yeah. the past, yeah. it wasn't anybody's property. What happened? Uh, not in the past really because mm -hmm. the, uh, Mr. Kruka owned it and so you are not, we used to go there but later on mm -hmm. they, they, they put an electric fence. Oh. So we are not accessible to that place. Uh -huh. Just but look it from far. Though we mm -hmm. were going there for firewood long time, mm -hmm. and we used to sneak into that uh, chamber. The, yeah. They could not allow mm -hmm. us, but we used to force. But later on, uh -huh. uh, they decided to put an electric fence, and then there, there are some giraffes there, there are some gazelles. Gazelles. Yeah. It keeps and, gazelles inside there. Yeah, they are, they, okay. are, they, they were. That is their natural habitat. They were there. Uh -huh. Oh. Yeah, they were. The gazelles there. and the giraffes were there. No, they brought the giraffes, but the gazelles were there. 
Oh, yeah, wow, cool. wow. Do they allow anybody to go inside there and check out the animals? Mm -hmm. Oh, just, wow. Look I didn't at the animals from the fence. Mm -hmm. Just to look at them. They are mm -hmm. wonderful. They are beautiful. There are some large ones. Not the large. And guy, wow. I, I really want to know, Mr. Kruger, is did he like uh, come here from the colonial era or just recently? No, it was from the colonial era. Oh, the settlers. And, yeah, and then when we got independent, uh -huh. the parents went back to South Africa. The sons remained here plus the mother. Later on, the mother went and the, the daughter. Only yeah, the two sons I, remained there. I wanted to talk about the daughter because I still see her posting on Facebook talking about Sir Goit. <laughs> the daughter is in South Africa. <laughs> so they are South Africans. Yeah, yeah I still see uh, that guy's, uh, ah. Mr. Kruger's daughter, very mm. active, talking about their farms and even still posting pictures mm. when they were young here in Sir Goit. Yeah, yeah, wow, so, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. So from our motorbike, that hill that you see over there is the actually the Sergoit hill and under that uh, hill it's the Kruger farm. So let me tell you a little bit history of that farm under that hill. So the Kruger farm is home to the Kruger family. It is located 24 kilometers away from Eldoret Central Business Center on the Eldoret Moiben Road, which we were just using, and it is a prominent farming family in my county, which is Uwasengisho. They carry out large scale farming on their 5,000 acres of highly mechanized farms. Now it is in its fourth generation. The family commercially farms maize, wheat, barley, and dairy farming and are also big conservationists. The family utilizes a variety of machinery including plowing uh, tractors, combined harvesters, spring machines and road graders to maintain their farm. The Kruger family's roots can be traced back to Mpumalanga, South Africa, where they migrated in the year 1908. They are the descendants of the Van Rensburg Trek migrants who moved to Kenya during the British colonial period. The family has a rich history and is considered one of the prominent families in South Africa. In 1957, during the Mau Mau uprising and the events leading up to Kenya's independence in 1963, many white farmers were selling off their holdings, fearing reprisals from the local uh, black population. The Kruger family had also decided to leave Kenya for South Africa. However, one of the sons, Jan, changed his mind after arriving in South Africa and returned to Kenya, acquiring Kenyan citizenship and buying up cheap farmland from the settlers who were living for South Africa. So one of the family member intensified farming activities and became a leading farmer in Wasengishu County after the death of their father. In 1996, one of the sons established a wildlife sanctuary and brought in 13 giraffes. Okay. Thank you. I don't know if you'll allow me to go in your farm and do some videos. Thank you so much. The dogs are rendering oh. the, the hens and mm -hmm. then they are eating the flowers. Wow. So we try to... Oh, so when they eat the flowers, it is not going to germinate? Or it's going to the, the, the seeds the, Oh, the seeds. Yeah. So can this be eaten? I, I always confuse the leaves. Uh, they, there is this kunde. But this one again is eaten. It, it's wow. Vegetable. You can eat this? Okay. Wow, wow. In fact, when, you, when the, the vegetables are not there, uh -huh. this one is the best. It, it tastes suja. Wow. Yeah. You mix it with this one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Guys, I hope I don't, I don't even know the name of this. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Spider, spider plant. Yeah, very true. Very true. Very true. Yeah. The beans. Yeah. I really love this environment. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. I really I appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there are different varieties. Uh, let me ask first about this. Uh, one is uh, an orange. 
which type is it? The one that is crafted? Yeah. Wow. Well, How long does it take to um, three mature? Years. Three years? Yeah. It, it oh, cool. so oranges yeah. don't take a lot of time. Yeah, uh, provided it is not crafted. It is provided it is crafted. Three years? Yeah. Maximum? And then we have Sandara at the middle of those of our Sandara. Sandara. Hey, hey. Why, why don't I? Oh, I'll show them the Sandara. I wish I knew the name in English. Um, it, we call it tangerine. <laughs> Guys, I don't even know. Hey, hey. Now this, this, I, I am, I'm even uh, feeling ashamed that I don't know the names in English. <laughs> I only know them in Swahili. So this is uh, like a kitchen garden. Yeah. Well, a very big one. And then we have, we, uh -huh. we have this one here. We, we have the cassavas there. Cassava. We planted them recently. Because you're a very hardworking mom. I can't even see the. <laughs> I can't see the cas. Oh, I I have seen it. Yeah, cassava. Yeah. Wow. Mhm. Mm Where? Strawberries over here. Around here. <laughs> Me, I don't, I don't even know strawberry plant here. <laughs> and have you ever seen strawberry plant? No. Yeah. Have you seen the strawberry? Yes, yes, yeah. Yeah, Wow. Uh, it is only ten days old in this cat, and I brought them somewhere. Oh, oh, 10 days old. Yeah, oh. and then uh -huh. oh, yeah, but you've planted a lot of beans. Why? Yeah, these are these are just a little. I usually, I usually plant uh, even an acre. An acre of yeah. beans. Wow. And then um, wow. I'm almost four 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 sacks. Uh, from an acre, four sacks. Mm. Wow, so that's a lot. I used to plant down there, but you see, I didn't plant. Uh -huh. I just planted maize and mm -hmm. yeah, maize. And did the floods affect you, by the way? Not really. Wow, you should you should thank God because, because I can have, see even here it's very healthy. We have the swamp area down there, oh. but we are not planting that one. The, the animals are feeding. Oh, with other pasture. Oh, so when you get four sacks of uh, beans, where do you sell them? Uh, I normally take them to school for fees. For school fees? Yeah. Wow. You are a very sharp. They, they are just pay fees for the whole year and then even it can, it can uh -huh. overflow to the next year. Wow. And then I just relax. <laughs> Guys, I don't know in your country, are you allowed to do like uh, if you have maybe a sack of maize, even uh, in Kenya by the day they allow that. Yes. And uh, if you have a sack of maize or a sack of uh, beans, mm. you can take it to school and then they just deduct, like they, they determine the fees by the value of uh, the value of the beans in that year, right? Or uh, how do they determine? How do they change it to school fees? Like the market price. The market price of yeah. that year. Yeah. yeah, that's it. At that time. Yeah, 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 yeah. So ah, you. <laughs> this is of a card of varieties. Yeah. Crafted. It is called fuete. This fuete. one is fuete. Oh. All the, the four. There are four. This yeah. one, the other one, on the other end, and uh -huh. then the other one. The, there are four. Uh -huh. The variety is wet. All of them are crafted. Yeah. So crafted uh, fruits, they take short time to mature. Yeah. And then this one, I planted recently this one here. We will we will that one has. Ah, uh, I know, I know. This one is us. Was uh, ingia uku kashamba? Eh. So. As avocado, it yeah. is different from yeah, that what one is. is this oh, one is has. has. Yeah. Has guys, let me show you. H a s s. This one here, and it is very sweet. Yes. I have tested. So, uh, we tested has. Yeah. Wait, wait. And then uh, this one in English. I don't know what it's called. That one. These are vegetables. Yeah. That one is yeah. It will add blood. In the body, and then it's in digestion because it is oh. celibate. So it also. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, it's so true, it's true. Yeah, so it's yeah. in digestion. This and one has sukuma, the, 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 the sarcas, yeah. yeah. They don't have acids, yeah. this type of case. 
Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. You see the the insecticide the... tree? Sure, sure, sure. And once they spray, you're not supposed to eat them for how long? Three days. Three days, yeah, that's what. Yeah. So we have, we have another type of the oranges again. I planted recently. Oh, that's where? There are those small ones. Oranges, where, where, where? where? Yeah, there. Yeah. Why am I not seeing the orange? <laughs> Am I around there? there. <laughs> oh, ah, I have seen it here. Yeah. That one is here, 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 here. So even this one is going to take three years. Yeah, that one is pizza. And this one I planted this morning, I put at 150. Oh, wow. Yeah. This is the beauty of owning land. <laughs> wow, you just buy uh, plants, fruits, yeah, and I plant them. them. This, is, this, this is few hours old. Yeah, and then <laughs> this here is another one. Uh -huh. Those I ones are planted, huh? today. I planted today, and then we have a plant. You said this plant is? We call it. It is tree tomato, but oh. I the Oh, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomato tree. Variety. Yes. I'm a, mm, a tundadamu. Uh, oh. And then we have a plum. No, no, apple. Mm, apple tomato. Like the normal apples. This one is the red one. Oh. Mm. Mm. Wow. Well. I, I also want to see an apple plant because I've never seen for sure. Oh, here, yeah. yeah. yeah, like the normal apple. Yeah. Wow. But it's, it's red. Is it going to grow? Have you ever grown one in the past? Yeah, but I have put them. But this one I was told it is special. I put it at five hundred. Five hundred. Hey. Five hundred. Hey. Five hundred. Five hundred is a lot here in Kenya right now. Hey, that's like four dollars for a tree, apple tree. Wow. How did you learn about farming? From my parents. Oh, from the parents. Oh, I thought most of us, we get into these groups, women groups, and then the government uh, enlightens us more about it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I, you know, us, we grew up in rental houses mm -hmm. where we don't have farms. Oh, so, so our knowledge I, in farming yeah. is very little. When I was young, mm -hmm. I used to see my parents walking out. Oh, you've scared me, Minister. <laughs> <laughs> Even the dogs, no, they no, eat them. The avocados, they are eating. Oh, <laughs> they go to the plant. Oh my God! Oh, and they are far. <laughs> okay, oh, How do they climb? No, the 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 the, the avocados are falling down. Oh yeah, when they ripe, by the yeah, way, any down. any fruit when they ripe, they oh, fall. Wow. Yeah, so they come and eat. <laughs> Yeah, so those those are my potatoes. Uh -huh. These are my mango. Potato plant. Guys, let me show you. It's here. Wow. So when you have a farm, wow. Those are my mangoes. These the mangoes. Oh. Wow. And then this farm you decided to just have it recently because most of the things are just. No, or it has been there recent. since. Then it is almost. 24 years I started with, in fact this, this one here is 24 years old, this one, but these other ones I replaced. Uh -huh. This one I planted 2000, at the year of 2000, but this, uh, to, this yeah. orange tree yeah. yeah. I planted 20, but I kept replacing, but this one is the only one which has remained. For 24 one, good years. But this wow. one I replaced it 2012, all, all these other ones. Uh -huh. and, and, and that one, that mm -hmm. one and this one only has remained from that group of 2000. Wow. But the rest are replaced. Wow. And, and then... Meaning that you've never slept hungry. Yeah. The beauty of owning a land. Wow. And then those, these ones are the varieties of uh -huh. potatoes. Oh, wow. Let me show you guys. Uh, sweet potatoes. The red ones. The red and the yellow inside. Yeah, these ones. Wow. Sweet potato plant. Wow, if you add this farm in Baringo, you will have regretted because Baringo, our our lands, they have a lot of stones only. I, I'm from there. <laughs> I hail from there. Which part? Uh, oh, yeah. as we live in Cabernet. Okay. 
So at least you understand uh, our land, how it looks like the land of stones. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yes. it is. And then the weather there. Yeah, so you see Very now, this, this, this one is this different variety. Uh -huh. These other ones again are different. This is a sweet potato? Uh, yes, it is white and inside. Oh, the white one. Wow, I always see them in the market, but I didn't know this is the plant. The yeah. sweet potatoes, but yeah. the white ones. And then these ones are the ones that looks like red, the, pink. The, this green, red, and then uh -huh. inside is yellow, these ones. Red and this yellow, one yeah. This is, is white, but inside is orange. Oh. The other ones are red, red, but inside is white. So no one is different, no one is Oh, wow, guys. They are different. Wow, wow, wow. They are here. Yeah. So we have three varieties of sweet potatoes. This one. This one is red and white inside. Red and white inside. And then this one. That one is white and orange inside. White and orange. Red and white. White and orange. Yeah. And this one is red and yellow. Inside. Red and yellow. <laughs> I hope you are not getting confused like me. <laughs> Knowing the plant itself while it's ready in the market, it's different from the plants. Very different. But yeah. these ones, we all know uh, they these are, are Irish potatoes. Irish potato. Irish potatoes. Yeah. Irish potatoes. What's the difference between Irish potatoes and potatoes? No, it is potatoes. We, we <laughs> say we say Irish and uh -huh. then sweet. Those ones are sweet potatoes and these ones are Oh, so that Irish you can potatoes. differentiate. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. Thank yeah, you so much yeah, yeah, for taking us through a tour of your beautiful farm. Like, uh, the, this is a banana. Is it uh, the traditional one or the modern one? Sweet bananas. Sweet bananas. Oh. Yeah, the other one is traditional from Kisi. Which one? Kisi, the first one. Kisis are good producers of uh, the, the one on the further end. The first one, yeah. Oh, wow. They are very that big, always Kisi. very big. Wow. So, wow. So I just decided to have one. Uh -huh. Wow, thank you so much for this tour. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Nashkuru <laughs> sana. Remind us your name kindly. Yeah, but well, actually, if you watch this video from the beginning when we arrived here, is the guy that welcomed us warmly, warmly. Guys, I hope you saw how Africans welcome uh, other people or fellow Africans or any visitor. They are there to welcome you. Thank you so much. We appreciated uh, the well, well, the warm welcome. Yeah, you welcome the next time. Thank you so much. So, what what do you do for a living? Or you're just at home? No, mostly I work at a textile industry. In Denver, it's called River Tex. Oh, I know River Tex, but yeah. I've never been there. By the way, uh, okay, how does that setup look like? Can they allow someone like me to do content yeah, yeah. around or I have to no. talk with the management? Yeah, you have to talk with the management. Oh, it's, it's a compound fence? Yeah. It's not like an open place? No, no, it, it is not. Oh, it now I know. Sections. Because, yeah, kids are starting to go to school, so I'll be out most of the time to go and create content. Yeah. Yeah. Did you know that I do content creation? No, I don't. In fact, you should leave me on YouTube. <laughs> Channel. My, yeah, so my ch yeah, my channel is yeah. Irene underscore Jep, Irene and then underscore J E P P. Yeah. 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 Irene. Yeah, yeah, kindly go and check out my okay, channel. Of course, I'll check out. Yeah, yeah. Check it out. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Asante. Yeah. Guys, I think now we should say hello to Mr. Joseph. I have a video from yesterday. How are you, sir? Fine. This is Mr. Joseph and for me it was just to come here and pass my gratitude to you to say thank you very much yes. uh, for your dedication for the last three years. I don't know. Asante. <laughs> for the last three years guys uh, we've been getting milk supply like every day we've never missed milk because of uh, mr joseph and for the last two weeks it has been a struggle <laughs> like you want to you want to buy milk it's really a struggle when you're already used to uh, one person and today we said that uh, since you're not feeling well 
we said yesterday we were coming to you uh, to see you in the hospital to check out on you but reaching on town when we called you were being discharged we said thank you lord at least um it shows that you are doing well and we said that you are coming to your home today and we are glad that you welcomed us well and we, we ate lunch like everything was good we even took uh, some videos in the kitchen garden the garden there with mama cosge thank you so much so and um, again i get i got to learn you know uh, when i asked baba niva what is happening with you he told me it was something to do with liver and today we came to know it was the veins yeah, yeah. so Maybe you can talk to our people. You know, most of the time you see me with this camera and you don't know what I do. Yeah. <laughs> it's content creation. Yes. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Ubi, you can talk to us. How are you feeling now? Kwa sasa, nachisikia vizuri, simbaya. Kula. Nimesaidiwa. Nimesaidiwa vizuri. Uh -huh. So I'm feeling well. Thank you. Yes, the, what uh, give me problem? It was uh, pressure. Oh. Yeah. The, 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 what pressure the, between the bones. Yeah. Yeah. So what retains me so much is pressure. Okay. Yeah, the pressure comes from. It means it was long time. Oh. Yeah, started long time. Now to treat it takes time. Yeah. 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 And, and now you need to do some rests yeah. because most of the time you supply your milk with boda boda does it mean now you love to look for something uh, which is a bit comfortable yes because you can't go back to the boda boda again yes. <laughs> so for how long have you been supplying milk uh, around 40 years 40 years, years of yes. supplying milk <laughs> Daily, yeah, daily, daily, daily. Yeah. Because as we've been taking milk for three years now, continuously, no single day missed, continuously. So I was imagining, what about the rest? So it's forty years of also riding a border border. No. Uh huh. Yes. Uh, around twenty years, uh, Pascal. Wow. And then during to from twenty ten, mm -hmm. so we get uh, border border. Mm -hmm. We thought to ourselves that uh, it will be easy mm -hmm. in border border. Uh -huh. But now the problem comes from the border border. Wow. Ooh. Because of struggling from the village, mm -hmm. you you cross the nini. The poor roads. The poor roads and the server. Yeah. The, the, you strain. The, 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 the strain. Yeah. So the problem comes from the straining from the border border. Wow. So is the, the strain. The mm -hmm. muscles jump from the place it comes, mm -hmm. where they stay, mm -hmm. and then it locks. Yeah. yeah. There is somewhere it locks it from the, the veins. The veins. So mm -hmm. at the time it locks, it lock uh, the pain in the muscle of the yeah, knee, yeah. Uh, of the blood. Mm -hmm. So at the time it close, it, it locks the mm -hmm. the muscle of the blood. That's the time that it started the. Uh, growing so no supply of the blood to the body so he okay. that's why he, he comes mm -hmm. he become sick a problem yeah but now i get a operation mm -hmm. uh, from theater mm -hmm. they start to uh, arrange the uh, plan uh, <coughs> uh, muscles mm -hmm. and the uh, and the blood and then to, to stay proper so they remove there is something lock the the, the, the blood mm -hmm. they remove it mm -hmm. so that the blood moves well, so, so i get the uh, mm -hmm. pain by the time going to for the theater oh. yeah so i go fa fast for uh, icu yeah. around two days three days mm -hmm. and then i go for operation mm -hmm. and then get rest for the uh, some days mm -hmm. then I go for a blood, blood high blood pressure. Oh. You know, because by the oh, course oh. of yesterday, it was more better. It has mm -hmm. come down, but mm -hmm. I was released. I'm now, I am at home. I'm wow. Glory be so, to God. Yes. Yeah. I thank That's, God for the yeah. You supplied us with milk the last day, and then the next day you didn't come, and you were like, maybe the border border broke down. And then the second day, you were like, no. 
we have to call you because maybe something is wrong only yes. to know that you are not feeling well so the last day you supplied us with milk you were very today. okay no. or you were sick i was sick Ooh, that was the didn't. last day uh -huh. i told my customers that I'm, i will not come tomorrow uh -huh. today i wouldn't know whether i will come back tomorrow mm -hmm. but for today i supply milk and then i go to hospital wow you are a very uh, strong person it's a uh, time time it was in the morning. 1 pm mm -hmm. after bleed milk mm -hmm. that's the time i go to, to hospital and that, there. Is, that is the day you knew your pressure level uh, was at 2 30. 2 20 2 20 2 20 uh, you are a very strong person and that is why I, and that is why you've come out of the hospital yes yeah for us we can just say we thank god that um you are doing okay you are doing well we will continue praying for you Thank yeah you. and we will pray that uh, you also get a comfortable means of transport from today ends forth yes. because ends forth because now i can't imagine staying without getting your meal it's a struggle <laughs> it's a struggle for yeah. real yeah. and we appreciate also um the fact that you've uh, you've been giving us milk sometimes uh like you t we will even take two weeks we pay you yes. and i don't even know okay this one i'll ask off camera but for me it was just to come and say thank you we appreciate uh, everything that um, the milk supply that you've been doing for the last three years we don't take it for granted guys i am so full since we came here we've just been eating and now we want to say goodbye and we we're given tea again so i want to say thank you so much to mama kosgi uh we are going back hey it has already told we are going back with maize asante sana tunashukuru you see now you are supposed to, to, to you came with a bag you are supposed to go again back with another food is that an african culture something yeah yeah even when I, I started i was like according to our african culture you can never visit uh, anybody empty handed like it's a culture but i didn't know going back is also a yeah, culture again <laughs> appreciation well thank you so much i appreciate uh, the warm gesture here we just appreciate everything everything everybody yeah watching the intention so i'm relaxed right now i want to go and settle now for supper thank you so much you relieved me yeah Asante sana. It's time to say goodbye. Okay, Asante bye, sana. Bye. Goodbye, Baba Kosgi. Yeah. Tunashukuru sana. Yeah. Aya, nyinyi tunaendanisha. Mimi yeah. mnaenda kwanza na pikipiki. Okay, okay. Let me say goodbye to everybody then. <laughs> goodbye. See you. Saonana, she lives near me. <laughs> goodbye. Asante sana. Goodbye, guys. Ah.